welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Rob, and today we will take a look at the free SolidWorks tutorials that come with every seat of SolidWorks. Tutorials are found by going to Help, and then SolidWorks Tutorials, or by going to the Task Pane, and then SolidWorks Resources, and clicking on Tutorials. From the main SolidWorks Tutorials page, we can select a topic of interest, whether it be the most basic techniques, such as building our first part, advanced techniques, like 3D sketching, or we can even search for something specific by clicking show and then clicking the search tab where we can type what we want to find. The search presents all related topics as well as what location or really the lesson that the topic falls under to see if it is applicable to what we are looking for. Within the contents tab, we can browse all of the available tutorials without having to click through the higher level topics. And in fact, we can jump right to a specific topic within a tutorial. Let's look at a tutorial to see what types of things are shown. For this example, I have chosen to look at Lesson 1 Parts under the Getting Started tab. As you can see, when we move our mouse over the tutorial, we are shown an estimated time to complete the project as well as a brief description of what is contained within that tutorial. Once we open the tutorial, we get a bit more specific description of the topics to be covered. Our forward and back navigation buttons can be found in the bottom right and left corners of the window. These allow us to advance to the next topic or return to a previous topic within a tutorial. The tutorials, tutorials have interactive icons, which are designated by an orange box. When clicked, these interactive icons will highlight the corresponding location of that function inside the SolidWorks window. This can be handy when a tool or feature is required whose location we are not familiar with. We will also notice that throughout the tutorials, there will be gray boxes which will provide hints and tips to help us complete the exercise. The tutorials make use of icons and images to clearly show the necessary steps to take in order to easily complete the tasks. A great example of this is step four of sketching the base, where we can see that once our pointer is hovering over the origin, we will see our pointer display the appropriate sketch relations. The tutorial even contains solutions to common issues which you may encounter during a tutorial. I encourage everyone to try a tutorial and see what you might learn. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.